MustangMedic.com. Mustang Medic, Ford Mustang Search and Rescue. definition. The 71 Mustang Fastback Restoration Project. Day 105, bringing her back to life. Well, let's see what we got. Oh boy. Success. And it wasn't easy. There was a lot of bending going on. But there it is. <laughs> the line actually goes through and gets in there. Boy, was that fun. Success. Give me a pipe wrench, Rick. Get me a pipe wrench. Ta da. You know what this means, guys? You know what this means? We're ready to start bleeding the brakes and starting to get some brakes. We can start pumping the brakes, Rick. He's smiling back there. Uh, best of our knowledge, brake lines are hooked up everywhere. So we're gonna start pumping them and see if anything leaks. There we go. Kinda. Hello, here we are at night part. I don't know if I'm doing Time. three. I don't know if this is Maybe. three, 10? <laughs> that would be a record. We have got the pressure lines in with for the trans cooler. Yes. Repeat, they are in. We're going to show you our work. We're very proud of it. It was not easy. We actually had to cut the line. We, we bent the line to a 90, a 90 degree. Then we had to cut the line, and then we had to flare it so we could put it in. And here it is. All right, guys, there's a very good chance. I know this video is not – I'm upside down. This is, there's the drive shaft, just to give you a sense of where we are. There's the transmission bracket. Apologize for the bad focus. And there is the high pressure line. We had to cut it, flare it, and bend it. And it just made the, not missing the tunnel <clears throat> as my voice breaks. And then it comes around here, not touching anything. It's clear. And then it comes to here, and we've got a line hooked up here. And that line runs straight up to where the trans cooler is going to be. I pray it's on the right-hand side of the radiator. i um, pretty sure that they're, they're going to set it up for that, but trans cooler line right there. And then there's the other line right there. This is tight now, and we, got a, we bought that bender that we showed you in the previous video. This bend happens right here, so you can see it. There it is. And then we've got the ties set up here, and there is the end of that line right there, waiting hose. We're going to buy... Another roll of this stuff, this hose line. What, what size is it, Rick? Seven sixteenths? No, five sixteenths. Five sixteenths line. And we are going to hook it up to here, and then we'll have both of our lines up to the front for the radiator that we're going to be receiving shortly. And then really we just got to get hoses for it, and they're all specced out through uh, Matson's. So we, they're working on the radiator now. They think they're going to have it by the end of the week. So the trans cooler lines are now prepared and that was nothing more than um, a minor feat to get these lines pre bent so we learned how to bend lines and flare them and we'll show you why don't you get the flaring tool rick and let's show them what the flaring tool does what you do is you clamp this around the pipe you cut it off so it's flush with this piece of metal. So this, those little ridges in there are just basically so it grabs on really tight onto the pipe. And then you take this piece, you go through here like so, and like that, and then you clamp down on it, and it, it flares out the pipe and traps the pressure fitting in. And let's show, let's show them the pressure fitting. Here is a fitting that is flared 
and that's what that piece that's created. So we had to cut it to get a sharper angle because we were having a hard time with this pressure line coming out of the out of the C6 and touching on the uh, tunnel. So we're very pleased to report that this is the size and it's fitting um, and it's in. And they're also the same size for the small block C6 that we have that we're prepping for the 351. So another achievement at Mustang Medic, flaring hoses, uh, pressure lines. So that is complete and now in the spare parts drawer. Bad news for Alejandro. Allie, Allie, I got bad news for you, buddy. Mom's going to neuter you. I know. I know how you feel. She's been jumping. You've been jumping too much over the fence and going and playing with those dogs. So she said she's going to cut your testicles off, buddy. How do you feel about that? You're, you know, this, sometimes it's good to be so naive because you don't know what I'm saying to you. You'll find out in the future. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. We're sorry. All those guys out here are sorry. You just you shouldn't be getting out of, the, out of the fence. You shouldn't be jumping the fence. Bad dog. He's a good dog, but he's going to be less testicle soon. All right. <laughs> you know everything here, Mustang Medic. All right. So all those lines are set up. Here's that line coming all the way through and up and out. It awaits the radiator. Yes, we're excited about that. Ricky smiles every time I say radiator. Um, the the built-in trans cooler. The built-in trans cooler. We pray the trans cooler is on the passenger side. Because if it's on the passenger side, cool. If not, it's cool. We'll run the lines up and under. No issues there. It will still happen. Now, we're going to focus on hinges, guys. We're going to do our spring thing that we did before. You saw it on video where we pulled the spring. I'll give you a quick clip of that. And... Uh, that's where we are. That's where we stand. Oh, and we got to check out Rick about those bolts to see if I got the right threads to be able to put those seat belts on too. Maybe we'll do that tonight if we're motivated. Here we go. Dun dun dun. Whoops. Sorry. Didn't mean to trip on you, Allie. Dun dun dun. We are connected to the C6. If we had one more hose tonight, we'd be dumping transmission fluid in that puppy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we're not. We're not going to. We are going, we do, and we do, as you guys saw, this is uh, full of oil right now. And look, let's show you a little dipstick action. Da -da! There it is. There, yeah, no, it's, you can see it. We are good to go with the oil level, and we also filled the, oh, look at Rick, look at Rick, so he uses his own shirt to clean it. I love that, love that attitude. So, um, we filled the uh, um, oil filter also, so it should just run straight through and be just sloshing around there. And we are, I mean, we're, I, I actually think we're within a week of getting this yeah. running. I actually think we're within a week of run, getting this running. We've got to deal with the linkage though, guys. Mustang Medic Alert. We need the linkage to get this carburetor hooked up to the top. Right now, we don't have it. Yeah, we got a fuel line. Great. Which is exciting. But we are, we are missing some linkage here on this Holly carb. So, yeah, if anyone wants to give us a carb, <clears throat> awesome. If anybody wants to give us this linkage for a Holly carb, that would be great. We need this bracket that's going to attach to here and allow us to link up the gas pedal to here. We have the kick down, which is over here. Oh, there's the blue, there's the blue kick down bar. And we got to get a C clamp for the bottom there and hook that up and that will be up on top near the carburetor and we're looking for linkage for that and that might this might be this might be it for the videos tonight we'll see how motivated we are we might show you the, the springs going on yay springs you guys are probably like yeah we saw the springs before okay you, you pull it apart you put it on they're, they're hood hinges whatever maybe we'll show it to you maybe you don't care maybe you don't want to see them let us know would you like to see the springs on we'll have video we'll have raw video we'll put it up tomorrow let us know if you care Thanks for watching. MustangMedic.com. Look for a link in the description for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com. All right, team. Let's go. We're going to find the next Mustang. Yeah. MustangMedic.com.